Welcome to Curious Guava. Today, we will take you on a journey to explore the mysterious Meraki boulders located on the coast of New Zealand. These boulders are large, spherical stones that have become a popular tourist attraction. But what makes them so special? And why do they have such a mysterious and legendary reputation? The Moraki boulders are in the Otago region of the South Island of New Zealand. These boulders are not uniform in size and can range from small pebbles to over 2 meters in diameter. But what makes these boulders so mysterious is not how they were formed but rather the legends and stories that surround them. Local Maori legends explained the boulders as the remains of eel baskets, calabashes, and kumara washed ashore from the wreck of a rai te uru, a large sailing canoe. According to the legend, the rocky shoals extending from Shag Point are believed to be the petrified hull of the wrecked canoe. And a nearby rocky promontory is thought to be the body of the canoe's captain. The reticulated pattern seen on the boulders is said to be the remains of the canoe's fishing nets. Interestingly, some people have linked the Moraki boulders to extraterrestrial activity. According to some theories, the boulders were eggs left by ancient aliens who visited Earth in the distant past. And the cracked boulders are eggs that have already hatched. While there is no scientific evidence to support this theory, it is interesting to note that the boulders are one of the few natural wonders in the world that have been linked to the possibility of alien visitation. As for the scientific explanation, the boulders are actually concretions that were formed about 60 million years ago. The process began with the accumulation of sediment around a central nucleus, which could be a fossil or a shell. Over time, the sediment was cemented by minerals, creating a solid mass. The softer rock around the concretion was then eroded away by wind and waves, leaving the boulders exposed. Regardless of their origins, the Meraki boulders have become a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world to marvel at their unique spherical shapes and mysterious reputation. The best time to see the Moraki boulders is during low tide. Low tide occurs twice a day and exposes all the boulders on the beach so you are able to appreciate their full size. In addition, early morning or late afternoon provides the best times for taking photos with brilliant lights cast across the boulders. If you ever find yourself in New Zealand, be sure to add the Moraki boulders to your list of must-see attractions. That concludes our video on the Meraki boulders. Do you believe the Maori legend or do you think there's a more scientific explanation for these mysterious rocks? Have you ever visited the Meraki boulders in person? If so, we'd love to hear about your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching.